Tickle me, Elmo. <laughs> no, kitty, this is the Warhammer. Oh, like the Thor hammer? No, it's from Toddy Tickle Baits. Well, guys, going to Odyssey, there's a couple baits that were on my radar to check out. And Toddy Tickle Baits were definitely one of them. I kind of became aware of them through some of the Facebook groups, and guys were talking about swim baits and the Warhammer. So that was definitely one. I do have a couple of baits over here that I'm going to talk about in upcoming videos. But Leela Lures was one that I really wanted to check out at Odyssey. And we had a great conversation with Greg. But today it's about Todd Dowell and Toddy Tickle Baits and his Warhammer. And we had a great conversation with Todd at Odyssey Unfortunately, we can't use a lot of the audio because it was very noisy in there and it was hard to hear him. He was a little bit nervous and he was forthright about it that he doesn't like doing that kind of speaking. And Todd's became somebody that I've actually talked to quite a few times on the phone about other things outside of just, you know, the baits and stuff and a great guy. And when I got this lure in the water a few weeks ago, I did have a little bit of an issue that it was rolling to one side. So like I do with any bait builder, I message him and I'm like, hey, I can't get this to run perfect. I don't want to do a video if it's not going to show it running true. So I messaged him and right away he's like, call me. Let's get this straightened out. So to Todd's credit, we talked on the phone. I sent him a few pictures he says, rarely does he ever have trouble with them out of the, basically out of the box or out of the package, not running true. I give it a little bit of a tweak, basically this way like this, just to get it so that it wasn't rolling one way or another. And again, guys, that is what dealing with these small batch builders can give you. And like I had said in the video right here, when we talked to Bryn and Noah, if you have a problem with these boutique baits, these builders, they got your back. It, you know, a lot of the big companies, they'll take care of you, send you a new lure. But these guys will actually get on the phone and get you, you know, like, let's adjust it. Let's tweak it. Let's tune it. Let's do something to get it running smoother for you. So Todd, shout out to you for on a Sunday afternoon calling me and getting this thing to run perfect. Couldn't have been happier with it. Unfortunately, our footage isn't amazing because we we were in shallow water, so there's only so much you can do. But let's go check out that footage, and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, so this is the Warhammer from Toddy Tickle Baits. This is the 11-inch, and I'm running it on a 9-foot shock and awe with an Okuma 471 reel, 90-pound barbarian braid, and a 49-strand leader and get it cast out there and because we're in shallow water just going to run it with a medium speed retrieve actually maybe even a little bit higher than i might do just because of the lack of water depth and because of the lack of water depth i got to keep my rod tip up a little bit but with all swim baits you want to get your rod tip facing the bait so have your rod directly at the bait or maybe just to one side a little bit so that if you do get a bite, you can quickly hook set to your strong side. So that right there, guys, is the war hammer. I made 
built specifically for fasting at long distances and for long periods of time. So that, mm -hmm. and I turned it into that. So all I did was I added the tail. So Similar profile. Exact same profile. Right? With, with a paddle tail. And you're telling us these are all weighted the same, different sizes? So the 11 inch has the same weight as the 14 inch for now. I do have a new lighter version coming. Uh, so it'll have less than a quarter ounce of that. Retrieve or pause. They do it with everything. Straight, everything. It's, it's such a universal thing. Um, so, if we want to get one from Shield Lakes, Northwestern Ontario, like, I'm already gravitating towards the big one, the bigger I, size. I wouldn't hesitate to go to the 11. Yeah. The 11, they give you light to keep you know, your boat away from structure. You can bomb the 11. Okay. You can, you can pull up 75 feet to, uh, to your shoulder. And you can cast 25 feet over. Nice. And on the 11 inch, what do you recommend for hooks? What do you uh, send it with? Four rod PKK hooks. Oh, so you're running premium hooks premium on Premium hooks, premium wire too. Yeah. So that the wire on the inside is chemically treated, heat treated, and then reset and bent. And then it's actually retreated again after being bent. So it's, it's really strong, very durable. Uh, soft plastic, soft plastic, eventually, yep. you know, you need to get another one. Yeah. But they do hold up very well. All right, appreciate it. Much. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Be right back, guys. Peace. Awesome. So I will get you guys some better footage when we start getting, you know, some warmer water, and I can get in a little bit deeper and run this thing a little bit more true. But you'll get the idea of how it looks underwater. And my first impressions were you can actually really burn this and pull it in pretty quick. So I think you can move it around shallow structure. And the way the tail rolls, it it really has a unique kind of presentation. That really slender tail really moves a lot of water and that tail moves a lot and it gives it a very lifelike appearance. David has one that's in more of like a, a walleye perch pattern, but I love Superman. So, I mean, it's hard to go wrong with this color, especially when we're in our clearer waters here in Northwestern Ontario. So it's a lure that a lot of you guys had recommended to me. And again, going back to like the Facebook groups and stuff, people were talking about it. And I was so glad to meet Todd at Odyssey and be able to talk to him, you know, after the fact. And it, it already is a lure that has piqued my interest and it's one that I think we'll use right away and he makes a couple different sizes and I think we'll be wanting to get the bigger size right away and I believe that we've built a really good rapport with Todd and Todd was very upfront about it. He didn't really want to give us lures for free so in all you know being open and disclose everything David and I each bought one of these and after that, Todd told us that he didn't really want to give us one for free because he didn't want us to just think that, oh, it didn't matter if we used it or not used it. And the fact that we stepped up and actually bought these lures meant a lot to him. And the fact that he has been so open with me after the fact really shows a lot about his character, too. So Highly recommend you guys checking out the Toddy Tickle lures and the Warhammer. He makes a bunch of different sizes, including like a smaller, I think it's a six inch for like walleye or pike. So a really cool lure. It looks really good in the water. Let's have one more quick look and then we'll, uh, we'll head out of this one, guys. These style of rubber swim baits are some of our favorites and it's hard to go wrong with the mag shallow swimming dog, a Shadzilla, like those are benchmark lures for us. The Poseidon's another one. There's a couple others that fall in there, but I really think that the Warhammer is going to be one that, you know, really fits our style of fishing and the way Todd describes it, I think it will lend itself well to shield fishing. But if you guys want to compare this to a lot of those swim baits, check out the video right here where we talk about some of the best swim baits 
and I'm sure if we do another video like that, this one will be in there. So for now, 54 Bust is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.